how can you hold the numbers in an ascending order? How can you hold the numbers in an ascending order? For more on this, join me, teacher Jonathan, in Easy Elimo Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, mathematics for grade 6, as we order numbers in an ascending order from smallest to the largest, and we are ordering them up to hundreds of thousands. In our previous lessons, we ordered numbers up to tens of thousands. And just to remind ourselves, remember, up to hundreds of thousands, that means it's a number with six digits. It is a six digit number. So we'll be arranging these numbers from the smallest to the largest. Remember we learned that an ascending order, it is starting from down, going up. Yeah, that means you are starting from small, just increasing upwards to the largest. And that is what we do. Now, I would like us we group up in our groups, take your calculator, or using your digital device that you have, that is the tablet, go to the calculator icon, go to the calculator icon, after you open your device, that is the tablet, go to the calculator icon, and now after you go to the calculator icon, I would like us now, we key in randomly numbers, for example, for example, what are we keying in? For example, we have 101100. That is a number that we have picked randomly. So after you pick that number, write it down so that you may not forget it. That is the first number that we have key in 101100. That is a six digit number that we have picked. You can also pick another number. Another number using the same you can pick also another number like 101001 that is another number that we have picked 101001 in the calculator icon just click 101001 make sure you also write it down remember this is a group work 101001 Remember, this is a group work. You are not working alone. You are working as a team. So, whenever you do this, give your group members to do the same. Again, go again. Wrap those ones. Key in another one. 101010. 10, 10, these are just numbers that you find in your calculator icon. Write it down also. 101010. That is the third number that we have key in. You can also key the fourth one. The fourth number will be 101001. That is also another fourth number that we have keyed in. It is also different from each digit. And finally, 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 you can also key in. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, in the calculator icon. Now, we want now to arrange these numbers from the smallest to the largest, that is in an ascending order. Remember, while we did in our previous lesson, we said after you pick this one, you identify your numbers, now go to the place value chart. Place value chart. Remember, you have to identify each digit in every number in the place value chart. It is a six digit number, so it means it goes up to hundreds of thousands. So if it is a six digit number, using the place value chart, we have hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands, 
we have tens of thousands we also have thousands hundreds tens and ones and finally we have ones now having that chart now place each number the first one is one zero one one zero zero the second one one zero one zero zero one the next one one zero one zero one zero the fourth one one zero 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 one one and finally we have one zero zero one zero one those are our five digit numbers that are our six digit number that we have written now the next step is now to analyze which one is smaller which one is bigger now all of them are starting with one so we will not use hundreds of thousand as our selection option so we move ahead in the tens place value tens of hundred thousands place value all the numbers are starting or have zeros so they are the same we cannot use this one to eliminate which one is smaller and which one is bigger so we go to the thousands place value column we have one 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 zero zero so this can help us know which one is smaller and which one is bigger which number which digit comes first between zero and one it is zero so now these three now are bigger than these two so we are using these two we go again to the hundreds place value we have now zero and one so that is to mean the one with the zero is the smallest so this now becomes the first in our arrangement this will be number one in our arrangement so this other one will be number two in our arrangement then now we move to the that to these three we were here then after here now we move a step further which one is smaller than the other we have one zero zero so the one with one is bigger than the ones with zero so we move another step we have zero and one so the one with zero is the third one this becomes third one and this becomes fourth one then this one becomes the fifth one or the biggest so in our arrangement now we pick the one with one number one will be one zero 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 eleven that is the first number which is the smallest followed by one zero zero one zero one that is the second the third one will be this one so it will be one zero one zero zero one the fourth one will be this one one zero one zero one zero zero one zero and finally we have one zero one one zero zero that is how we have arranged our numbers from smallest to the largest because they are almost they look alike be very keen and how to know which one is smaller just use the place value chart arrange your numbers compare each digit in every place value starting with the largest or the highest place value position to the smallest and the highest place value position is hundreds of thousand going backwards to ones which one which digit is bigger than which one and by so doing you'll have arranged your numbers from smallest to the largest remember this arrangement we have called it ascending order ascending order now as we wind up our lesson remember to do more practice on arranging numbers up to hundreds of thousands in an ascending order how will you make this come true you can ask your parents to help you come up with six digit numbers and now try to arrange them from the smallest to the largest and as we wind up our lesson kindly 
do the following task and in our task and in our task we are arranging the following digits or the following numbers in an ascending order from the smallest to the largest and these numbers are 9909 90 990 990 we also have 9900099 the third number will be 999900 the fourth number will be 999009 Zero, zero, 009 and finally the fifth number will be 990900 and then the second task the second task will be 42400 we also have 32400 we also have 624 00 we also have 524 000 and finally we have 824 000 those are our two tasks we arrange them from smallest to the largest see you in the next lesson